Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. We are going to make a cow on our 41 peg loom, which is this big one in the set. Again, it's 41 pegs. This is a nifty knitter loom. You'll need this, you'll need your yarn tool, then you will need a tapestry needle. Also, super bulky or bulky yarn is fine. Um, I used a number six dark green and um, if you have any questions leave me a message after the video and I will get back to you and I love talking to people I would love to see your finished projects you can find me on Facebook at the mom writer also on Instagram you can find me at the mom writer and again um, if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos if you have an idea for a video that you would like to see of a project um, just leave me a message and I'll see if we can get it done thanks for watching and have a great day bye okay we're gonna get started with our 41 peg loom and we're gonna start by making a slip knot And we're going to place it right by our anchor peg. Tighten it up. And then we're going to start with our E wrap cast on. When you make an E wrap cast on or an E wrap stitch, you're making a small letter E and you're going to go around the entire loom until you reach your starting point by the anchor peg. We made our way around, now we're starting on the second row, and again we're just going to wrap little E's on every peg until we hit our starting point. Now we're going to take our yarn tool and take the bottom stitch over the top stitch. So again, we're going to take the bottom over the top. We're going to do this for every peg the entire way around the loom until we meet back at our anchor peg.
to this point, you'll want to push your work down. We're going to start on the next row and we're going to do the same thing. Make little E's all the way around until you meet up at your anchor peg again. You'll want to do this until you reach your desired length. I use the whole skein of yarn for this project. Some people do it by inches. I just thought I'm using the yarn anyway. I'm just going to go until I'm done. So that is what I'm doing. This is dark green yarn. It's Burnett Softy Chunky at number six. And it's about 3.5 ounces. So continue doing this until you reach your desired length or until you run out of yarn. And if you want to do two skeins, you can do that as well. You can really make this as big or small as you want. Then we'll meet back and I will show you how to do the basic bind off. I do want to add, do not use all of your yarn doing this e-wrap stitch. You are going to need yarn for the end. Enough yarn to wrap around. I like to do probably, just to be safe, at least one and a half times, probably two just to be on the really safe side. Give yourself enough yarn to where you can do a proper bind off that's not too tight. When you're ready to remove your stitches, you want to start with the first peg, knit over, wrap the second peg, knit over, then remove the loop from the second peg and put it on the first peg. Knit over and then remove that loop and put it on your empty peg. That is the first step in your basic bind off. We're going to follow that up by knitting the peg to the left. Remove the stitch, place it on the peg to the right. Knit over. Remove that stitch and place it on your empty peg. We're going to continue this process, knitting over, remove that stitch, place it to the stitch to the right, knit over that stitch, remove that stitch off the peg and place it on the peg to the left. We're going to go the whole way around the loom doing this process.
Okay, we're almost to the end of our project. We're just finishing up, binding off, and we're almost done. Now we're at the final two stitches. We're going to knit remove that peg, place it on the peg to the right, knit over, and carefully take the loop off of the peg first cut your working yarn and then carefully remove the stitch take the yarn string and pull it through the loop and we're going to tie pull it and it's going to tie into a knot automatically Just pull it tight but not too tight just so the knot closes. And then we're going to weave in our ends. And that is your loom knit cowl. Hope you enjoyed the video.